So this is how it all started. I just bought my 3D printer and wanted to try it out, so I decided to print some gears. Yeah, I made this the first as a first project. It's called the gear painting. You can find it on Thingiverse. All the, the parts are there. Uh, it's no it's no bearings or anything, it's just basically nails with printed parts on it. So that was the first one. I decided if I can do gears I could probably do some other advanced mechanics so I decided to do a gear project and um, I had a free space in our staircase. A free wall which is about four meters high and two meters wide. That's the whole so I put the whole project on this wall. Um, it's basically six frames, three white and three black. And then uh, everything is driven from this third frame. Uh, there is the driving gear coming from the motor. You can see the boxes at the side there. Uh, they're not lined up perfectly. I will, I will do a redesign on the boxes. But that's how it looks, and the motor is coming in right there, that's the driving gear. And then this one goes up to the other frames up here, and the, the last one, this one goes down here. So it all drives like that, it's a double gear, cogs at the top and cogs at the side. The cogs at the side drives the gears inside the frame. and the one sticking out like this and then there is the axis coming out with the universal joint driving the next frame there is an RG11 connection which connects the lighting as you can see it's lit connects the lighting down to the next frame and up to the next frame so if we go down here comes to the next frame and then black and you have the, the driving gear white instead, the double gear and the white gears coming out and then it goes further to the next frame, the same idea. Um, the RG11 connection is used to, to just have the lighting, so I pull this one, see it loses the light very simple. Um, this is the top one, it's about three meters from the staircase. And it goes to the next one. And it's two white gears sticking out from this frame. And then universal joints again, of course, to the next one, like this. One white, one black gear sticking out. And, uh, the motor is quite strong, so it's not a good idea to put your finger right like this. I think you will hurt. But eventually something will probably break before your finger breaks, but it will hurt. And there's all ball bearings everywhere. So the gears have ball bearings. This is M6 screws. And ball bearings on everything. And the holders is a ball bearing. And there's a ball bearing on the on the holder right there and the same on a, every frame everywhere and in the in the universal joints as well ball bearings so it's it's very very quiet the whole idea was that it should be quiet so it shouldn't disturb anyone for the moment the the motor is a little bit noisy yeah, it's something wrong with it so I will change it when I get the new one so this is the whole thingy and this, there is a the remote control to control the lighting so if I do red here everything is red and you can do whatever you want you can do green it's green and blue of course and white uh, you can also change the, the amount so you can change 
change the how how bright it should be. So now it's not that bright. Very nice. Uh, yeah, that's about it, I think.